hey guys welcome back uh, in this particular video we will be covering okta as identity provider for uh, any pen platform so just make sure you are able to log into this developer.okta.com and able to create a new free account just click on this create free account it will ask a, a couple of things just fill it up and uh, good thing is uh, it doesn't require any credit card or something so you can start with your trial account right away so once it is being done, you will be uh, getting some couple of emails uh, stating to activate your account. So once that is being activated, you should be able to see a particular URL like this dev hyphen some number hyphen admin dot com. So just log in with your credentials. And once you are able to log into this particular console, and then um, if you go to the API authorization servers, you should be able to see a default authorization server, uh, basically the same machine name uh, or some some uh, identifier or to default. If you click on this default hyperlink, you will be able to see some more details. Basically, we are more interested in this metadata URI. Apart from that, this issuer is also being required. So make a note of it. Two ways to further explore the things in it. Just click on this metadata URI. It will give uh, a lot many things about URLs like issuer, token, authorization, and couple of more things. Or if you want to open it in the Postman, this is the way. URL I have set it to the same uh, dev machine, and after that uh, the authorization server URL. I, if I click on the send button, I will be getting this issuer, authorization endpoint, token endpoint, couple of things. Just make sure you are uh, ready with these particular things because we need to uh, enter some of the things into AnyPoint platform settings. Now I am going to the AnyPoint platform and I am into the access management uh, under the identity providers. If you go down, you should be able to see this Open ID Connect. Just click on it and select the use manual registration. Copy paste this particular URI for redirect URI. Save it somewhere uh, for your quick reference. Now, uh, next thing is you need to again go back to the Okta account and you have to click on applications. Click on the add application tab and go for the web.net Java. Why we are creating this new application? Because if you see over here, client ID and client secret, we need to generate. Okay. So with this particular application, we will be getting those particular details. Click on next. Instead of putting my web app, doesn't make sense. So I will put something more logical. Endpoint platform underscore login. Within the base URI, you can change it to the anypointmilsop.com. Just replace this and similarly replace this logout uh, redirect URI. In place of login redirect URI, copy paste the entire string and change it with the callback, uh, the default one. Make sure the group assignment is selected with everyone and the grant type allowed is authorization code. Click on done. We are pretty much okay with this particular page. As an output of this activity, we got some couple of things like uh, the client ID. So client ID. And this is the client secret. Now we will be using this couple of things and uh, we will be going to the endpoint platform. But before going over there, I will go to the users. And here you can see there are two active users with the person or username as Xman and uh, Ankur Parashar. Both are having two different email IDs and the status are in the active state. Now, if I go to the endpoint platform, let me try to fill up the rest of the things. Uh, so I am already having the uh, client secret in uh, copied. So I will quickly copy paste this thing. And now I am going to copy uh, this client ID. So I have copied it as well. Now connector is uh, the open ID connect issuer. So from where you will find it, uh, the, this particular issuer. The next thing is the authorization endpoint. So default v1 authorize. So I will be using the same. For the token URL, the V1 token, V1 token, and the last one uh, would be, uh, let me copy paste uh, this particular string, just skipping the token part of it. 
I will put to user info that's it and I will click, click on the create uh, button so now you can see the external providers button is uh, toggled to the on uh, state and open ID connect is selected I will quickly go to the user tab just to make sure what are the available users so I am having this X-Men and this this particular email ID as active ones and this is having the the current uh, admin profile which I have already logged in let me log out from here quickly so I have logged out from here and uh, let me log out from the Okta account as well so now uh, I will be using a incognito window to log into the uh, to the account and the URL which I am going to use will be this one till 3 so if I hit enter let's see what happens now it is pointing me to the Okta account uh, let me put up my details okay so here you can see this icon is changed so it means it is being validated uh, on the image level at least uh, and I will click on the sign in let's see uh, what are the changes we are able to see on the browser level that is URL level so here you can see it is being pointed to the anypointmillsoft.com exchange okay and here you can see the rest of the things since this particular user with which I have just logged in it doesn't have the uh, the access management level of admin rights so that's why we are not able to see all the tabs over here now there is one more thing which I would like to highlight Uh, so this is the uh, main uh, Okta account which I am able, uh, which I am going to log in again. Okay, so um, let me add one more person. Let's see. I will put. Uh, first name is iron man then this is my email id and rest of things is good save it okay okay it is giving me some error some of the other error let me do something it should be good now let's see so it is saying this particular user already exists so that's why it is giving me error or what if I use something new okay let's see so now it is pending user action so what I will do I will go back to my gmail account I will pause it for the time being so now as you can see uh, I have received an email to activate my account so I will click on the activate Okta account it is going to ask me some couple of questions so let me quickly fill it up so this has created an account in Okta let's see it is being added now this is my uh, admin so what I will do I will go back to this particular and do a refresh to see if the status is getting changed for yeah now it is being active so what I'm going to do now uh, let me log out from everywhere I will open up a incognito window and we'll use uh, the any point platform login but this time i will be using the new email id which i've just uh, configured i'll putting all the details i'll click on this sign in and let's see what happens it has pointed me out to the anypointmilsoft.com page and uh, let's see it's iron man and we are able to see the rest of the things um, 
So it is the new email ID which has been configured. There is one more thing, just in case if you get any disabled email ID or disabled user, then it means like within the access management using your admin, you have to go look into the access management users tab and uh, just make sure the new email ID which you are trying to uh, uh, provision, it is in the enabled form, not disabled. So with this, uh, I have showcased like uh, how we can uh, add new user, how we can enable a existing user through identity uh, provider as Okta, as Okta as an identity provider. So I hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching.